What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. Today's video is a live trading video. Um, right now it is nine o'clock. Um, I already took a trade and I had to close that break even. I'm gonna post the screenshot right here so y'all can know what trade I took. I took this liquidity graph. Now it hit the one to one, but my target was a little bit further down and I had to close that break even up in this area. So I'm still looking for another setup. Um, this week have been garbage for me. I lost yesterday and I didn't make no money so far today. So the market is really not messing with me right now. Um, NFP week, this price action is literally producing garbage, bro. So hopefully we can get a good setup and try to cover these losses because this week is just, it's not messing with your boy. It's really not. So um, I'm really waiting for NAS 100. It's a supply right here on NAS 100 right here. But um, New York Stock Exchange open is at 9.30. Um, I feel like it may touch the zone at 9.30. Who knows? But other than that, GJ is not doing anything. It's starting to reverse up. And GU, look at GU. And GU is starting to reverse up. So, yeah, the market just haven't really been producing anything. Like, it's, it's sad to see because it's quarter one. But, man, this week, it's just not good. So I get back to you if I see a setup that I like, and we're just gonna go from there. All right, <clears throat> all right. So we have a supply setup um, right here. All right, I just sent this up to Discord. If we get a weak rejection, I will get in aggressive. Oh, okay, I like that. Okay, just got an aggressive on this trade right here. Um, it's 935, so the next candle should be pushing down. And hopefully, we get a win. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting aggressive. I'm not about to wait on the break of the candle right now. Like, nope. I'm good. Let's see. Let's see if it holds. All right, we just got the first break of the candle. So some people are getting in right there. We just got the first break of the candle. Now, if we push down the momentum, that's going to be great. That rejection looked terrible, bro. Come on, Nas, let's go. Now, I have an aggressive entry on this trade, but that break of the candle, that fake out was ridiculous. I'm not going to close just yet. Mm, oh, my God. Like, oh my, what the hell? Bro, trading view is spiking like no other. This is not looking good. This week is just not messing with me, bro. You gotta be kidding me. This this is a crucial candle right here. This is very, very crucial right here. This is a very, very crucial candle right here.
So we got news coming out. And I'm going to just move all my stop loss to break even. We're just going to see what we get. You got an aggressive, just move your stop loss to break even, bro. Worst come to worst, you just get stopped out at break even again and whatever. But I'm already floating in profit, so I'm not going to just close. My take profit is down here. So let's just see, man. Let's just see. Four, four seconds. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. I gotta close something. Come on, touch the line, touch the line. Oh my God, I hit take profit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Am I being greedy? Let me get out. Fuck that. I'm out. <sighs> and don't get me wrong, man. Don't get me wrong. I could have held longer, but bro, that's risky, man. Y'all know slippage happens, bro. My stop loss could have just got spiked up and then boom. So I'm out, bro. Okay, so um, let's talk about this trade, man. Uh, people that's in the Discord, if you close at break even, do not have FOMO, bro. Like this is stuff. This is high risk stuff, bro. This is NFP week. Um, we're literally sitting at break even right before news. If you got an aggressive, it would have been smart for you to move just stop loss to break even. And if you got it on a break of the candle, either close at break even because it gave us plenty of chances to close at break even on a break of the candle, or take the chance but it's all a risk at the end of the day trade at your own risk we already know what news is going to do but price literally slowed down for news and literally this candle dropped for news um yeah it was dangerous overall but this was a um supply setup on nas 100 it came through and i'm about to close the charts bro i'm just so just this week have been very stressful so um yeah it's not really nothing crazy we got to break a structure right here broke this low Came back to the zone, um, tap at 9.30. Um, I got in around 9.35, break the candle happened, and that was pretty much it. So um, NFP week is always gonna be like, I, I just feel like price action during NFP week is always garbage. And scraping out a win is like tougher than usual. So hopefully Thursday we can get a good trade. But um, yeah, I, I lost a trade, won, won a trade today, and Monday I lost, so. Yeah, but um, that's all I got. Peace and love.